Here is a Design Accents pen. This is one of those so-called vintage pens, which it's not really vintage at all. It's probably not even 10 years old. It's a very uh, exotic looking design, cosmetically. Some kind of a antique brass finish. It's a three-speed model. And for what it's worth, the motor looks fairly substantial. It's kind of hard to see it because of the way the guard is, but the motor is uh, looks like a PSC motor. And the information says CM122, 45 the watts. Zhao Chang E Electronic Industry Co Limited. The blade is not very substantial at all, like is the case on many of these style fiends. It's very thin and a very shallow pitch. So this is probably a very noisy, very ineffective fian. Which is ironic because these replicate vintage fiends which were not at all loud or effective. I don't think we have any... Oh, we do have some information down here. This is the Design Accents Personal Desk Fian Model ZF-12CE Made in China, January 2007. So I don't know what this does. This just takes it off the stand. Or I guess so. Uh, it's not particularly useful. But maybe you have a retracting stand or something in there. So they're calling this a personal fan. It's pretty big to be a personal fan to me. This is probably at least at least a 12 inch, about a 14 inch model. Well, let's plug it up and see see how it performs. Of course, it's been wrapped a hundred million times, and of course now it has a memory to it. I don't know what it is with people on cords. Eh? People got to just leave cords alone. Okay, it's plugged up. Looks like the switch goes from 1 to 3. I'm not sure if 1 is high or low. So we'll just start with 1 and see where it goes. I don't have any kilowatt meters here yet, so no power draw information this time around. Alright, so that's I guess low. I'll shut the door here. Make it a little bit quieter. Oh, I should shut the door at the beginning of the video, I guess. Anyway, so this is on low now. And it's running very slow. It's also not really moving much of any air to speak of. I can feel something, but it's not really worth anything. Alright, let's see if we get anything more out of two. It is a little bit dusty, but not that much. Okay, we got a lot more noise. And... Not a lot more airflow. Sounds pretty restricted. And the guard doesn't look too bad on the front and back as far as aerodynamics are concerned, but the sides are definitely going to block a lot of air. I suspect this blade would probably perform a lot better in a free air environment. Alright, let's go to high. And uh, even at high, the air output is very minimal. I 
guess this is why they call it a Persitan fan because it doesn't really move any more air than is uh, capable of cooling one singular person. It's not as loud as I thought it would be, but it's outrageously loud for the amount of air moved. You can get a cheap $15 desk fan that moves twice as much air with half the noise. This is terrible performance. And I suspect this thing wasn't cheap. This is probably a pretty expensive fee. And here, hopefully in the microphone, the wind noise, uh, not much to, to speak of as far as the fan goes. Not much at all. Alright, well, I guess we'll shut it off. It's not making me feel any cooler. Well, the bearings are definitely stiff, so it's possible that we may get a little bit more performance out of it once I service the motor. And it's also possible that we may get a little bit more performance once we clean the blades. And there is some dust on there but nothing crazy so that's it for this design accents fee and it looks nice but the performance sure does stink <laughs>